The beauty of the West has inspired many an artist, including a legendary Western photographer. Now his family is carrying on his mission of capturing the American West on camera and sharing the secrets of creating great Western images. It's a cool August afternoon in the American West. Horseback cowboys and cowgirls pursue a band of horses in the rugged sagebrush country at the base of an Idaho mountain range. Looks like a scene out of the Old West, except for all the photographers and that drone up in the sky, capturing some aerial video. This is fantastic. Awesome setting. This beautiful setting is just another great photo op for the very fortunate few attending a Steckline Photography Workshop. Incredible, actually. You couldn't have better, could you? Photographers from beginners to seasoned pros come from all over the country to the Steckline family's Horseshoe Bar Ranch outside Mackey, Idaho to hone their skills and learn new ones while shooting a variety of great Western scenes staged with real working cowboys and cowgirls while getting one-on-one -on -one instruction from a pair of accomplished professional photographers. Brothers Drew and Taylor Steckline are carrying on the Western photography legacy and the workshops started by their father, David Steckline. Known as the photographer of the American West, David, who passed away in 2014, was an international advertising photographer for the biggest names in corporate America. But his true passion was the West. He spent 35 years photographing his Idaho ranching neighbors and cowboys and cowgirls throughout the West. Photography that produced dozens of acclaimed Western coffee table books, plus fine art prints, calendars, and more. It's been a transition, but I think we're doing great, and everything seems to be moving on, and I think he'd be proud of what we're doing. Taylor and Drew grew up on the sets of advertising photography shoots with their dad, who put them to work. And so we'd have different jobs, whether it's driving a car for a car commercial or holding up the reflectors or uh, loading film. So we've been around it our whole life. Today, these young men are following their father's footsteps, although Drew at first had other ideas. And I kind of went off on a different path and really didn't want to do what my dad was doing. And then the next thing I knew, I was living in Utah, working in the same restaurant that he used to do dishes at up at Alta. And then I was shooting photos and I was getting my film developed by his mentor that developed his film. And then um, on top of that, I was hanging out with all of his ski bum buddies at or ski bums back in the day, but now they're um, managers of the resort. So I was working with them to go get photos early morning. And so at that point I realized that I probably shouldn't fight the path and <laughs> just go with it. So I want you to shoot like a 20, 25th, 50th, 100th, and shoot all those different exposures. And then you can kind of figure out what sort of motion blur that you like. After a 10 year career as a professional skier, Drew now devotes himself to commercial photography, as does Taylor, who both enjoy sharing their expertise with their workshop students. Yeah, Drew and I both shoot professionally. I mean, this is really just a side job for us. We do it because we enjoy it and, you know, get to meet people, but during our main source of income is advertising. One of the great things about a Steckline Photography Seminar are all the great photo ops they set up for you, like this Sunday morning team roping with real working cowboys and cowgirls showing off their stuff. The weekend seminars are offered about a dozen times a year. They include a pair of advanced intensive professional video courses using the RED digital cinema camera. But today, the focus is on still photography, and there's a lot to learn. Getting ready for the good stuff. Beginning with how to protect your camera on a rainy Saturday morning. All it takes is a garbage bag and some tape. And then when you're done, you can... Outside, cowgirl models Kendall Tibbetts and Corey Shiner, both world champion ranch ropers, are settling up in the rain. Whether the steck lines consider perfect conditions for photography. I think the harder it rains, mm -hmm. the better. I don't know, it just gives you more moody photos and... I don't know, a lot more emotional than just regular sunny day, you know. Most of my best shots are on the most miserable days. It just tells a better story. Sunny skies are boring. Drew fires up the smoke machine to add to the ambiance. Smoke, dust, um, yeah, there's a little bit more emotion. I mean, right now, you get an awesome tight shot of the back of the horse there. It looks like it's steaming after a long ride. 
In getting this story, guys, you need to make sure that you're getting the tight, the medium, and the wide shot. So don't just shoot the same thing every every single time. Is it F-16? Is it darker? Sharon Redland is at her very first Steckline seminar. It's amazing. I've learned more today than I've learned in 20 years of taking pictures. I know how to set it now. I'm so excited. The Wyoming rancher wants to shoot better pictures for the sale catalog her family produces to advertise their cattle. What I've been doing is just shooting on automatic for the last 20 years because I didn't know how to set the settings on my camera. And in two days, they've got me knowing how to set the settings on my camera and knowing what situations to change the settings at. And uh, it's they've been really good at explaining things and showing me instead of just making me read it so that uh, I understand it better. New prop. Winchester. Yep. But sometimes the students do the teaching in some surprising ways. Especially because the students don't know all the rules of photography. So sometimes they're just shooting because that's what they want to see. And you see some, some really unique imagery that you never would see before because it's kind of out of the, out of the box because they're just picking up their camera for the first time. So I'll just grab a little bit over here. Taking the picture is just part of the process. Just like in the old film days, the photograph still has to be developed, not in a dark room, but in a computer program known as Lightroom. Just gonna zoom in on her face here. I'm just gonna paint in. I mean, the key is not to like overdo it. I think right there without going crazy. Pretty awesome image. Lightroom enhances a photo, drawing out information captured in a digital image, but left unseen if not properly processed. The difference between before and after can be quite dramatic. The Lightroom program also provides a systematic way of organizing your photos so you can find them. If you can't find your pictures, there's no point in taking them. That's especially important when you're taking hundreds or thousands of pictures. You shot 1,200 pictures this morning? Like yep. Wow. Yeah. Just trying to capture that one special moment. Calendars, books, date books, fine art prints, whatever we can sell. You cheat! It's easy to take a lot of shops at this workshop. There's just so many great opportunities. That's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, that was cool. cool. Like this new twist on an Old West card game at the Pack Saddle Saloon, featuring a pair of gunfighters you might not have seen back in 1880. Mean. I can't be mean. There you go. I'm not mean. <laughs> the saloon is inside a barn on the Steckline Ranch, a ranch that's really a photography studio with anything you need to create and shoot any kind of Western scene. Really, we have all the all the props and everything from all the big jobs that my dad has done. Um, cause we've shot Chevy, Pontiac, Marlboro, Copenhagen. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And all the props and all the scenarios are all right here. So it's literally like one of the best studios in the West. I mean, all the opportunity for shooting stuff outside is, is right here in our backyard. The smoke, the Colts and the whiskey may look a little edgy, but it's all just good fun. Time out! I gotta get I'm trying to look mean. This is my mean face. And it makes for some great pictures. We're off on a location shoot here. Yes, we are. The Stecklines recruit their cowboy neighbors to join in the photo shoots. You haven't got to take a picture of this one yet, have you? No, I haven't. Next door neighbor Bart Wachowski provided the animals and the property for that dramatic sunset shoot of the running horses. He's originally from Poland. Did you always want to be a cowboy in Poland? You know, I think every little buddy, every little kid dreams of being a cowboy at one point or the other, but. The tech lines know all the cowboys because they're cowboys themselves. Taylor grew up horseback and can rope and ride with the best of them. He showed off his skills during yet another photo shoot in the ranch team roping arena. While we're all loving the opportunity to get these great shots and learn from the experts, the cowboy models, who do get paid, are having a pretty good time themselves. Coming out here, it's always a blast. There's always something fun going on, meeting new people, and what the students get out of it. You know, a lot of these students have never been around this kind of stuff, and it's an eye-opener for them, and it's fun to talk to them about it and tell them, you know, what we do. And 
Sharing the West. Sharing the West, yeah. We students joined in the fun too, putting on the Western gear and conjuring up our inner Clint Eastwood. While it's all about learning the art and craft of capturing a great image, the Stecklines Western Photography is also about celebrating the culture of the West and the people who still get up and go to work every day on the back of a horse. We do the real deal, I mean, real authentic working cowboys and cowgirls and make everything right and, you know, do it the way it's done every day. And there's no actors, there's just guys doing their job. It's usually pretty fun. They're so good at what they do. Cowboys and cowgirls who ride for this brand have long appreciated the respect the Stecklines demonstrate for their way of life. All these people, they do it every day because they love it. They're not getting rich on it. And just want people to, you know, see the West as we know it. There's a lot of honor in what we do and, and how we present ourselves. And because people like you come and take the pictures, we're honored. But, uh, you know, if you can delete the ones that show us on the ground, <laughs> your ass in the air, that'd be awesome. As this memorable weekend came to a close, seminar students, friends, and family gathered in the Pack Saddle Saloon. I feel so blessed, and then everybody helped, too. I, I felt like I was part of the family. Where we shared our best photographs of the weekend. Lots of fun to see the pictures shared with new friends who we are likely to see again. After all, 80% of the workshop students here are repeat customers. Cheater on the other end of that. It's so much fun. <laughs> As the sun set at the end of that grand photo shoot of those running horses, it was pretty easy to see why. Fun day, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was super fun. I had a good time. There's more information on Steckline Photography Workshops coming up on today's Wild West.